Skal man ha full kontroll på hvor mye spill treskeren etterlater seg, holder det ikke bare å følge med på indikatorene i treskrytta. En må ut, ned på bakken og sjekke hva som fysisk havner der. Men så er spørsmålet, hvor mange kjerner skal man eller kan man akseptere? Det skal Johannes fra Klasit demonstrationsteam lære oss mer om i denne videoen. Her har jeg en lost pen med en sample. The lost pen was um, placed under the rear axle of the combine and we released it via app. And now we are cleaning it out with our cleaning van here and see how high was the loss level on the combine. So we put all the stuff here in the cleaning van. Why do we do this? Um, we want to check um, that the combine is not operating with more than 1% losses in the field. And so we have the actual sheet level. We are here on 6.5 tons per hectare. Now we are calculating how much losses we are able or we are allowed to have that we are not harvesting over 1%. So now I'm cleaning it out. We have a little bit wet straw, so the conditions are not too easy. We don't want to have less than 1% either. Um, we can have less than 1%, but here we are testing the throughput of the machines. So we have said before, of, uh, before about the test that we want to do the test at 1% loss level, that we can compare the machines together. So um, we're doing those tests all over Europe and to compare the machines in different conditions we need one constant loss level to compare the machines. So we said we, all machines should drive at 1% loss level. It's quite common in Europe. So that's the point we want to reach and see how high is the throughput under conditions like this. But the losses is also shown in the combine. Why don't you just press the graph there? In the combine it's only a sensor and we first need to calibrate the sensor. So we need to check what's really behind the combine before we can just look on the sensor and see how high is the um, loss level. So now we have here some green stuff in it. We need to clean it out to get the right results. Because we want to measure the weight of this uh, Yeah, losses? exactly. There are some different ways to check losses. Some people just count the grains, but we want to do it more accurate. So we will uh, measure the weight of the loss we have. So it's the, the most accurate way to check it. And uh, the loss will, of course, depends on uh, the yield. Yeah, exactly. So um, when we dropped the pen, I was asking Philip, the combine driver, what was the actual cheat level. So on this spot where we dropped the pen, we had 6.5 tons per hectare. And we will use now an app. There we can calculate the loss level. We type in there the yield level and also how high was the losses. And so we can calculate it but I will show you in some seconds. Okay. Now I have here a little scale. Put it on a solid ground. So therefore it's very good to use this drop pan. put our losses into it, put the, the green straw pieces out that we have the, the right setting. Okay. And as you can see we have here some green grains so the conditions are not very easy. Also the straw is quite wet, so let's see what we will have. So here we have the app we use. We can here choose calculating losses. Then first we choose this chaff spreader. 
if we have turned on the chaff spreader or turned it off, now we use the chaff spreader. Um, also, we chop the straw and distribute it on 6.2 meters like the heather with. Choose it. We have barley here as a crop. We have a 6.2 meters cutting width, also distribution width of 6.2 meters. Then we have the one meter loss pan. And here now we can enter the weight. So we have, like the scale shows us, 2.4 gram of losses. So we can calculate it. Then here it shows us um, how many kilograms per hectare we have. And then we have the performance monitor. There we can um, put in the yield level, the actual yield level. So it was 6.5 tons per hectare. And here we can also calculate how many, um, how's the price for this um, per ton. So I can calculate how many money we've put on the ground of the field with losses and also um, how many um, euros we have per hour on the combine. So um, we have combine and now we have 1.5% losses. So it's a little bit too much, but um, we are just before the test. So we're trying to do some other settings and to optimize the combines for these conditions. So it doesn't matter. I think we will find the right settings and get to 1% of losses and then we can start with the test. Why should the, the combine driver care about uh, to use this uh, kind of method? Yeah, I think in um, the most people outside in the practical work, they do the practical work, they don't care that much about the losses they, they care about, but normally um, you don't have too much time. You have put a little bit the straw to the sides and check it like this and see you. Uh, looks good but it's not really accurate and also in some conditions when you make too much losses you lose money but there are also conditions where you have short um, weather windows with good weather and you have to save the quality of the crops you can drive with one percent or even more maybe 1.5 percent that you so um, you can earn money with losses you save money well, you get a higher quality and you have some more losses on the field, but it's not the high amount of money you lo lose on the field. Like you have saving with the better quality of your wheat, for example. Yeah. And if you have uh, too low losses, then you don't yeah. have the capacity? Or... Yeah, exactly. So you lose some capacity of the combine. It's too expensive to drive with. 0.3% um, losses, so it's um, the combine is not getting to its full throughput level, and yeah, it will, you will directly lose money. Yeah. This equipment costs uh, a little bit, so uh, yeah, we also have some other options like uh, yeah, class have an app. Yeah, classes, for example, the Simos Advisor app. You can easily it's free you can buy it in the app store or play store and here you have some different things you can put in your own machine then you also um, can see here um, it's like the Siemens advisor you can put in uh, for example here sorry it's in German but you can put in here barley and then it shows you the settings you can um, drive with your combine and also you can optimize it and say, oh, I have too high rotor losses, walker losses, sieve losses. And then you can touch it and the app tells you what is the first step you can do. So if you have too high rotor losses, now it tells me um, decrease or increase the um, rotor speed up to 19 um, RPM more. But you also can calculate the losses. Yeah, exactly. So um, the loss calculation is the other thing. 
So you have here loss calculation, you can put it. Then um, you put in here your crops, um, for example here barley, um, swarfing or chopping mode, here header width, and then you can put in a meshing area, like here 10 to 10 centimeters, and then you can check it like um, you do it normally in the field. You can open here a little place, put the straw on the side, blow a little bit the chaff away and then you can count like here we have one grain, here we have one and then you can type in how many grains you have in this area and then exactly it calculates how, many, how high is the loss level. So it's quite useful and it's quite fast. It's not that accurate like with the scale, but it's, um, it's for free. It doesn't cost you a lot of money like this and you can do it very easily and very fast. Thanks for tips. Yeah, thank you. So we have 1.1% losses, perfect.